Modo's direct modelling toolset has always been at the heart of Modo, and in 12 we've made a number of improvements. There is now a Vertex Slide tool, a variant of the existing Edge Slide tool. Vertex Slide has a tool handle that gives you greater control over which edge you want to slide along, by drawing a handle along each possible edge. After the vertex is moved, the handle will update to then show you the next available options for the selected vertex. When working in a single viewport, and in particular when you're working in a camera viewport, you sometimes need to move or scale geometry towards you or away from you. Unfortunately, the angle can sometimes be so acute that the transform handle is unselectable. To alleviate this, there is now a third dimension move option with the transform tool. By holding down Shift, Control and the right mouse button, dragging in the viewport will result in a move perpendicular to the active work plane. This option also respects action centres, so will quickly become a regular feature of any power modeler's workflow. And finally, the Jitter tool has seen a significant update. The Jitter tool is a tool for randomly moving points in a selected mesh. In 12, we have added the ability to randomly move, scale and rotate connected geometry or selections. These rigid options treat any connected selection as a separate object for deformation. This gives you the ability to add subtle variation to geometry that exists in the same mesh layer. These rigid options have also been extended to the UV version of the Jitter tool. This can now treat individual UV islands as separate objects, allowing you to add subtle variations to textures when one texture map is being used across multiple cloned objects.